After extensive research, I have compiled a list of the top three CPU coolers for the Intel Core i9-13900K today. First up, I will show you the best budget-friendly option that doesn't compromise on performance, then a premium choice with unmatched aesthetics and cooling efficiency. And lastly, my top overall pick that represents the zenith of cooling performance at a reasonable pricing. All the details, including prices and links for these CPU coolers, are right down in the description. So let's start first with the best budget CPU cooler for the i9-13900K. Considering its competitive pricing, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 280A RGB is arguably the best 280mm liquid CPU cooler on the market. It blends superb performance, value, low noise levels, and looks great in an aggressively priced package. While it's affordable, this cooler is anything but cheap. It's an almost enthusiast-grade cooling solution at a fraction of the price. Let's get the basic stuff out of the way first. It consists of a 280mm radiator and two 140mm Arctic P-Series fans. These are high-pressure static fans that are specifically designed for AIO coolers, and the fan speed is rated at 200 to 1700 RPM. As for the pump, it's not using an asetic pump. Instead, Arctic is using its own efficient PWM-controlled pump that outperforms a lot of options on the market. And this is where things start to get interesting. Compared to its predecessor, the Liquid Freezer 2, the Freezer 3 has a lot of new tricks up its sleeve. For one, it comes with an Intel LGA1700 contact frame that replaces the stock ILM. This Arctic contact frame distributes contact pressure on the integrated heat spreader more evenly. This might sound like nerd talk and a bit gimmicky, but for a processor like the Core i9-13900K, we need all the cooling we can get. This aftermarket contact frame paired with Arctic's new pump helps a lot in controlling temperatures. Arctic has always had ingenious solutions to these tiny problems, as seen with the VRM fan on their previous Liquid Freezer 2. Speaking of which, the VRM fan is back, and it's bigger than before. If you remove the pump cover on the Liquid Freezer 3, you'll find that inside is a large fan that helps cool the voltage converters on the motherboard. Again, this was a feature present on the Liquid Freezer 2, but it's more effective here because of the larger fan. Sadly, with an enthusiast-grade CPU cooler such as this one, there are bound to be some issues for those who are not used to all this technical stuff. For example, removing the stock ILM and replacing it with Arctic's contact frame is an added step that most people are not used to. It makes the installation more finicky, and that might turn some people away. However, in return, you're getting a CPU cooler that offers innovative features with excellent performance. This 280mm cooler is capable of outperforming some 360mm coolers on the market, and that's saying a lot. At this price, there are other options like the Kraken X53 and the highly reliable Cooler Master ML240 RGB V2. Both options are easier to install, but the Liquid Freezer 3 is arguably the best looker of them and performs better, especially when it comes to noise levels and durability. However, make sure you check out Arctic CPU Cooler Compatibility Checker to see if the cooler will fit properly on your motherboard or not, as the pump of this cooler might block the first M2 slot if your SSD has an oversized heatsink. Overall, this is an ingenious CPU cooler, but not without its quirks. It has limited motherboard compatibility due to the M2 issue, and installation involves extra steps. If you can look past that, you're getting a CPU cooler that delivers impressive performance at a very reasonable price, and that makes it the best budget CPU cooler for the i9-13900K, hands down. Our ratings for design and aesthetics are 9 out of 10. Cooling performance, 9 out of 10. Noise. 9 out of 10. Installation, 7 out of 10. Value for money, 9.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Before moving to the next CPU cooler, it would really help us continue making more videos if you support us by just hitting the like button and subscribe, or even with a comment so that we know if you like it or if there's something we can do to improve next time. I promise it costs nothing. Just a few seconds. Let's see now which is the best premium CPU cooler for Intel Core i9-13900K. 
Leanne Lee earned their popularity with 011 Dynamic, one of the best PC cases out there. Since then, they have been known for their sleek and stylish design, as seen with their uni fans. Now the company has decided to bring all those great design cues to AIOs, and the result is one of the best-looking, high-performance CPU coolers out there. The Galahad 2 LCD360 is one of the best CPU coolers for the i9-13900K, and it's fitting for any high-end build. Before I proceed, there is one thing you need to be aware of. Previously, with the original Galahad and Galahad Trinity Performance, Leanne Lee had a lot of issues with overall quality control. Failure reports were high, and their in-house pump design was the main culprit. Since then, Leanne Lee has switched to an aesthetic design with their new Galahad 2 line, and durability is much better as a result. While an aesthetic pump might sound similar to what every other manufacturer is using, Leanne Lee is using one of the best options from aesthetic. It's a powerful pump that goes up to 3600 RPM, and the motor inside promises impressively high flow rates compared to the original Galahad. Now, in terms of sheer numbers, the Galahad 2 uses a 360mm radiator with a thickness of 30mm. It also comes with Lian Lee's SL Infinity RGB fans. These fans look great and can spin up to an RPM of 2450. However, the star of the show is the new LCD display CPU block. We've seen this in CPU coolers like the ID Cooling SL360 Space and the NZXT Kraken Elite RGB360. With that said, compared to both of those coolers, the Galahad 2 LCD offers better performance. This is because of the higher RPM pump and the faster fans. Coming back to the LCD display, it uses an IPS panel with a resolution of 480 by 480 It's sharp, vibrant, and customizable. You can use Leanne Lee's software suite to display your images, videos, or GIFs on the block. It also comes with a fan control hub if you get the SL Infinity fan version. This allows you to add additional RGB fans and accessories for synchronized lighting. In terms of performance, it is quite impressive. It features a slightly larger copper contact plate than the original, and it's optimized for AM5 and LGA1700 processors. I would have liked to see a contact frame included at this price, since there is not, which is a bit of a shame. Regardless, this cooler can easily handle the 13900K or the 14900 at full throttle, and it even leaves a bit of room for overclocking. Compared to Kraken Elite RGB360 and the original Galahad, a CPU like the 13900K can hit its maximum performance with no undervolting required. Thermal throttling won't be an issue, which is something you'd expect at this price. Apart from the superb cooling performance, Galahad 2 has a few features that are hard to find on cheaper alternatives. For example, it has a bigger cold plate than something like the Kraken Elite 360. It also has rotatable tubing that allows you to adjust the orientation for more flexible and cleaner cable routing. This also prevents issues with RAM clearance. The rotatable tubing comes with dedicated brackets, allowing you to lock them into position to prevent unexpected expected movements. Unfortunately, all that performance does come at a cost. Also, even though it uses a powerful pump, it tends to get noisier than other coolers out there. It doesn't get uncomfortably loud, but you'd expect it to be relatively quiet given the price. If you don't care about the looks of the SL Infinity fans, you can easily get about the same level of performance from Arctic Liquid's cheaper AIOs. All that being said, it's still one of the best CPU coolers for the Core i9-13900K. It's expensive, Sure, but if you're building a high-end gaming PC with great aesthetics as a priority, it's worth it. Our rating for design and aesthetics are 9 out of 10. Cooling performance, 9 out of 10. Noise, 8 out of 10. Installation, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 7.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Finally, let's move to my top pick. Corsair IQ H170i Elite Capilix XT. Corsair has been in the AIO liquid cooler game for a long time, and while they usually just take advantage of the great aesthetic pumps out there, it's a strategy that has worked well. The Corsair IQ H170i Elite Capilix XT is a simple CPU cooler that pairs an RGB aesthetic pump with a massive 420mm radiator. On top of that, you get three AF140 RGB Elite fans, extensive software support, and low failure rates. This model builds upon the success of previous H170i AIOs. 
the direct predecessor would be the H170i Elite XT, without the newer Capilex RGB LEDs. This newer version that we're looking at takes advantage of brighter and more efficient Capilex LEDs, and also uses a newer high-performance thermal paste in the form of the XTM70. There's also an LCD version of this cooler that features an IPS LCD block, similar to the one seen on NZXT's Kraken line and the MSI MEG Core Liquid S360. Now let's talk about performance. One interesting thing about this cooler is that the fan curve is tied to the AIO coolant temperature, not the CPU temperature. In less intensive workloads, the cooler will still run as loud as it would with more intensive workloads. The fans will also follow suit. However, this means that the transition to lower or higher noise levels is smoother, as the AIO coolant temperature takes a bit longer to cool down than the CPU temperature. It's a risky idea, but one that pays off well. In common workloads where temperatures aren't that high, the pump won't be working too hard at all. Fans won't ramp up or ramp down suddenly either, and the overall result is a surprisingly quiet 420mm cooler. Of course, you'll still have trouble fitting a 420mm radiator into most cases, and that's a downside we'll touch on later. Despite the quiet operation, this thing offers phenomenal performance. It easily beats out a lot of the 360mm CPU coolers out there. It leaves a lot of headroom for overclocking, and it's nice to see that even with intensive workloads, it is capable of keeping the most demanding CPUs, like the i9-13900K, under 45 to 50 degrees Celsius. H170i Elite Capilex XT is not only one of the best CPU coolers for the Intel Core i9-13900K in terms of performance, but also in terms of looks as well. Its RGB pump looks great, and there are a few pump cover options in the box to match your build theme. The AF140 RGB Elite fans are also quite bright and are not as loud as other fans would be. Unfortunately, as I mentioned before, there is one big issue. Most mid-tower ATX cases simply won't have space for a 420mm radiator. If you want to buy this CPU cooler, you'll need to first check if it can even fit in your case. That might be something that pushes you away, as there are 360mm CPU coolers out there, like the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360, that offer almost the same level of performance. With that said, if you have room for it, this is a CPU cooler that will last you for a long time. It's more than capable of handling the most demanding CPUs like the 13900K, and I reckon it will do just fine with newer CPUs in the future as well. Our ratings for design and aesthetics are 8.5 out of 10. Cooling performance, 9 out of 10. Noise, 9 out of 10. Installation, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10.